How you doing guys? I'm Matt Walden. Today we're here with Mishimoto and a 2004 Subaru Forester. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the silicone hose kit for this car so that we can replace the crusty old hoses that are underneath your hood. As you can see here with the Mishimoto silicone hoses, these are multi-layer reinforced silicone, which is not only going to look great, but it's going to hold up to the heat a lot better than the stock hoses. Tools that are required for installation of the Mishimoto silicone hose kit on the Subaru Forester XT are flathead screwdriver, extension, ratchet, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, panel tools, coolant funnel, and coolant. Installation time is about 40 minutes and a two out of five on the scale of difficulty. Let's get started here and jack up the front end. Now before starting any work on the vehicle, make sure it's completely cooled off. You don't want to get any burns here. Use your panel tool to remove all the pop clips from the bottom of the splash shield. Once all the clips are out of the lower panel, go ahead and unbolt it using the two 12 millimeter head bolts up front. Reach your hand up in the side of the bumper and open the drain valve for the stock radiator until coolant starts to flow. Remove the lower radiator hose by sliding the clamp off of the connection. Get out your 10 millimeter socket, put that on the factory hose clamp if they're still left on your vehicle. Now that we have both hoses out, the difference is obvious between the Mishimoto and the stock hose. The stock is old, decrepit, rubber, and only single reinforced. The Mishimoto, brand new stuff here. Silicone, multi-layer reinforced. It's gonna look a lot better and it's gonna hold up to heat a lot longer than this stock rubber one. So let's put this guy in. Now we're gonna put the lower radiator hose on and we actually hook this guy up with a Mishimoto aluminum radiator as well. So this guy is definitely the coolest guy on the block in this Subaru. All right, install the upper radiator hose onto the water fitting on the engine side. Next, we're gonna install the upper radiator hose onto the radiator. Once everything's installed, tighten up both clamps. And we're just about to refill it with coolant. We're gonna lower the car down first, and then we'll begin the refill. After you make sure all your hose connections are all tight, hose clamps are on everything, let's go ahead and begin refilling the cooling system. Now on this particular model, you're gonna be refilling it on the reservoir on top of the engine. Always use a 50-50 mix of antifreeze and distilled water. And don't be surprised if it takes considerably more coolant to fill the entire system. After you've filled up the entire radiator and there's no more air coming out of the reservoir, make sure that you have no leaks under the car and then you can go ahead and start it up. In the process of the first start, you should always turn the heat on high to evacuate the air bubbles from the heating system. This is Matt Walden signing off. Enjoy your Mishimoto products.